Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about horse pulls algorithm. This algorithm is used for solving the problem of string matching. Now, what is the problem of string matching? In a string matching problem, we are provided with two strings. One is text, another one is pattern. Text string is usually longer than the pattern string. So what we need to do, we have to find the occurrence of uh, this pattern in this text, right? So this problem is uh, finding the occurrence of uh, a given uh, string called pattern in a longer string called text. So normally how we solve this problem? Suppose we are provided with this uh, text. and uh, we have this pattern so we will start from the first character of both the strings first the first characters of both the strings are matched if they are same then we will match the second character then if uh, they are same then we will match the third character and so on if all the characters are matched then we will stop there right otherwise what we will do we will shift this pattern string towards right by one position right so uh, if uh, there is a mismatch then what we will do we will shift this uh, pattern towards right by one character and again the corresponding uh, characters are matched if they all are same then our search is successful right then the match is successful and we will stop the search Right. So in this, uh, if there is a mismatch, again we will shift this pattern to one character right. So this method is uh, not very efficient. So what we will do, we will use an efficient method called horse pulls algorithm. So what is the difference in this method and horse pulls uh, algorithm? In horse pulls algorithm, whenever we match the two strings, whenever we match the characters of the string, so how we will match? Suppose this is the text string. And this is the pattern string. Right. So what uh, we will do, we will start comparing from the rightmost character first the rightmost character of the pattern is matched is compared with the corresponding character in text string if they are seen then we will move to left and then we will match another character of pattern string with the corresponding character of the text string if that is matched then we will move towards left and we match the character of pattern with the corresponding character of text string. If all the characters of the pattern are same as the corresponding characters in the text, then our search is successful. So when our search is successful, we will stop there. Otherwise, we will shift these patterns towards right. But here we will not shift by one character towards right here we will shift as large as possible right this pattern will be shift towards the right as large as possible so how much we will shift it towards right it depends on the last character of the text which is aligned with the last character of pattern so here the last character of the text string which is a aligned with the last character of pattern string is a3 right so how much this pattern will be shifted towards right for next comparison it depends on the value of a3 right so let's uh, denote this uh, a3 by c right so here we have four cases first case is that this character c does not appear in the pattern right suppose uh, this character c is s right for example this is the text string right and this is the character c which is equal to s and the 
this is the character which is aligned with the last character of pattern right and this character c that is s does not appear in pattern so in this case we can shift the pattern by its entire length right so here in this case for next comparison we will shift this uh, pattern by its entire length so next comparison will is we will uh, place this pattern here like this right now the second case that is c this character appears in pattern but it is not the last character of pattern right suppose this is the text string here this uh, character c which is the character which is uh, aligned with the last character of pattern this is not the uh, same as the last character of pattern but this uh, character appears in pattern so in this case we will uh, shift uh, this pattern towards right in a way that the rightmost occurrence of this character c aligned with this c right so uh, shift should align the rightmost occurrence of c in the pattern with the c in the text so here we will shift it like this that this rightmost occurrence of c aligns here right so this is the second case now third case third case is that c is the last character in the pattern right c is the same as the last character of the pattern but there is no occurrence of c among other characters of pattern so what it means that uh, this uh, character c is same as the last character of pattern but this does not appear any one uh, other place in the pattern right this is uh, appears only uh, at the pattern at its last position and there is no other occurrence of uh, c in the other uh, characters of the pattern for example suppose c is r in this uh, case this is the c right and uh, this is the pattern so here c is the same as the last element of the pattern but it does not appear any another place in the pattern so in this case what we can do we can uh, shift the pattern by its entire length towards right so here we can shift uh, this uh, it like this right for the matching for the next comparison we can shift this uh, pattern by its entire length 
towards right now the what is the fourth case fourth case is when c is the same as the last character of pattern and in pattern c appears at other places also c is same as the last character of the pattern so, and uh, if we exclude the last character of the pattern then among the other characters also c appears like see this suppose uh, this is the last character of the pattern r and this is c right so here c appears as the last character of the pattern and it appears at other places also so in this case what we will do we will shift the pattern towards right in such a way that uh, among uh, these uh, first characters right among uh, these characters excluding this uh, last characters the rightmost occurrence of c aligned with c right so we will shift it towards right in such a way that this r assigned with this r like this right for next comparison we will shift the pattern like this